Hello, my name is Rob Nicholson and today I'm going to give you a very quick demonstration of a hybrid cloud integration between IBM Bluemix and IBM MQ running on-prem. So developers today um, really expect speed and choice. They expect you know set, their apps take you know seconds to deploy, frictionless development in you know any language with a really rich uh, choice of tools uh, and the ability to integrate with mobiles, uh, you know, and fail fast uh, and use a bunch of APIs. And and our Bluemix uh, platform as a service um, provides all of this in in spades. But What's really important is those apps that, that developers are developing you know, really fast in, in, the, in the cloud need to be able to reach back and integrate with the systems of record that are running uh, you know, on-prem in your enterprise IT infrastructure um, that, that perhaps uses uh, systems like IBM MQ. So what I'm going to show you today is a scenario where we, we do exactly that. We build a app very, very quickly that reaches back into the core enterprise architecture uh, and is driven by, uh, by IBM MQ. So the scenario that I have is I have uh, an enterprise or a simulation of an enterprise application which is, uh, which is, which is processing uh, the feedback from a hotel chain. And one of the things that is uh, processed by the application is, you know, comments that come ab about the, the hotel. And these are, in, in this demonstration scenario, these are available as uh, a, a, on, a, on a topic uh, within an IBM MQ uh, enterprise uh, infrastructure. Now, what we're using is the uh, new capability to uh, have an MQ Lite API. MQ Lite is our new developer-centric, uh, you know, set of a APIs um, that to to um, to expose that uh, information through the secure gateway, which is uh, provided as part of, of Bluemix, out to uh, an app, uh, and this is actually a Node uh, JS, a, a server-side JavaScript um, application called Node Red that's running in Bluemix. Uh, and we're going to build a, a system of engagement style application live in this demonstration that uses the data that comes from the uh, from the enterprise app uh, and it is exposed through IBM MQ. So I have uh, a virtual machine here which is representing my enterprise IT environment. It's actually running on my on my laptop for the purposes of, the, of this demo. Um, and in this uh, this, lap, this uh, VM, I have an instance of an MQ queue manager running at the 8.0.02 level with the MQ Lite um, support, which is available in beta, uh, added in on top of that. So I'm going to start up uh, run MQSC on that. Uh, so we should be able to see that we have uh, a an AMQP channel. Uh, defined, which is the wire protocol that uh, MQ Lite uses. Now, to sim simulate my enterprise application, I have a very simple script, which um, you can see here. Uh, all it does is it publishes using the uh, sample um, MQ Publisher uh, application uh, a series of comments into uh, into MQ into the topic topic into a topic called public. Um, and you know that you can see the uh, you can see the the lines that are in my demo file are basically reviews uh, from uh, from a from a hotel chain. Um, so the, the intent here is to simulate an, an existing enterprise app where you know, review comments are coming through inside MQ, and we want to extract those out and uh, use them to build a, a system of engagement in uh, in MQ Lite. So if I run that command, uh, we see uh, that the demo just publishes one of those every second uh, into, uh, into the queue manager. Uh, we can check that's working uh, by subscribing to that topic uh, using a, uh, um, uh, an MQ Lite uh, Node.js receiver. And this is just running on, uh, on, my, on my laptop. And uh, you can see that, yep, the uh, the, the message, the you know, the, the review comments are uh, are coming out. So, so that's 
uh, all on-prem uh, running in my MQQ manager uh, in, my, in my virtual machine. So I want to integrate that with Bluemix. Let's look at how to do that. So I've, uh, I've logged into Bluemix and uh, you can see in my dashboard here that I have no applications or services. So I'm going to be integrating with my on-prem um, uh, MQ Lite. So what I need to do is I need to add an instance of uh, the cloud integration secure gateway. So scroll down to uh, cloud integration. And I'm going to create an instance of the secure gateway. Uh, and I'm going to create that. So I've created my instance of a secure gateway. And now I need to create the, uh, the, other, the other end of, of that gateway. So um, I click on Add Gateway, add in a name. And there we go. So I've got an instance of a secure gateway. Um, and it is uh, currently showing as disconnected. So what I need to do now is connect that up to my uh, application running on-prem. So in order to uh, do that, what I need to do is run this command uh, on my local machine, uh, and it's going to pull down a Docker image with the secure gateway, and it's going to connect that secure gateway um, out from my uh, my enterprise system out to connect into uh, into MQ. So we'll copy that command and go over to uh, my VM. So uh, it's as simple as that. I've, I've run the secure gateway. It didn't download it from uh, from Docker Hub because it was already actually downloaded. If it hadn't have been downloaded, it would have actually just downloaded it there and then. And I can see that the secure tunnel is uh, is now connected. So um, if I switch back to uh, Bluemix, um, it now is showing. You see, it's showing that it's connected, and it's showing it's connected here. So uh, the next thing I need to do is to configure an actual destination. So, so if I call this destination MQ, MQ Manager, so the host name is uh, just going to be uh, it's running on my on my local host. It's running on the same machine as the uh, secure gateway, and the port is just the uh, is the AMQP port 5672, and I'm going to create that. And you see that's given me a, a port uh, and a host name to use in my cloud application. So, so now I'm, 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 I'm in good state. I'm in the position where I can connect to my on-prem. So let's, let's uh, actually connect something in. So the application that I'm going to use to, uh, to connect in is called Node-RED. And I have that in my, um, on my VM. So I'm going to push this uh, application uh, called Node-RED, which is a small uh, JavaScript, um, server-side JavaScript, Node.js application. I'm going to push that up into Bluemix using the CF push command. So uh, the application has now been uploaded, and we can see it should be started. So let's switch back to um, Bluemix, back to my dashboard, and we can see uh, that we have uh, an instance of the app. So if we now go to that uh, app, we can see that we have the app running in Bluemix, and it brings up this nice little integration flow editor. Uh, within the flow editor, there is an MQ Lite node. So we can open that up, and we can connect to a new MQ Lite service. So because because we're actually running, going to be running through the secure connector. The, the uh, service uh, URL that I need to put in here is the one that's been exposed by the, uh, by the secure connector. So that is the detail that we need. 
So that is the you know the cloud end of uh, of the secure connector. That's the path it, it uh, integrates to. Uh, back on my on my local machine uh, in in the enterprise, that's uh, going to be going to you know the local machine port five six seven two. I go back to um, my Node Red demo and uh, create that service there. I don't need a user ID and password because I haven't enabled that. And uh, the topic I'm going to be subscribing to is called public, because if you remember, the topic that we were publishing the review comments to was, was public. So there we go. That's all connected. So we want to see what's actually happening there. Uh, we're going to need uh, just to check that everything's working. Wire that up and deploy. Now we're seeing um, the, uh, the message payload uh, coming out uh, inside Bluemix. So this is this is within Bluemix. We're now getting access to those uh, those uh, hotel review comments. So now what, let's see what we can do with that. So the the next thing we'll do is uh, just delete that for a minute. Uh, we'll create uh, a little sentiment analysis node um, down here, and we will wire that up. So th what that will do is is add in uh, a, a positive or negative sentiment analysis uh, into the message payload uh, based on the words that were in the uh, in the in the sentiment. So now we can add a node uh, to um, to separate out the messages which had a positive sentiment from the negative sentiments. So this is a, a switch node. So we're trying to trigger this on the message sentiment dot score. And uh, if the sentiment score is less than zero, I'm going to send it to the first output. If it's equal to zero, we'll add it to the second output. And if it's greater than zero, we'll send it to the third output. So what we should now see is um, that uh, any messages uh, that came from the enterprise application which have a positive sentiment, uh, sorry, a negative sentiment go to this first output. So if we just deploy that and look at the, uh, the output. So uh, so there we go. We're getting messages here which have a, have a negative sentiment. Uh, they're going to go to the, uh, to the, uh, there you go, to the, uh, to the first output. So in a real app application, what we'd probably do with those is we'd send them to uh, some kind of customer uh, uh, customer resolution center to uh, to understand what was going on and uh, and hopefully resolve the uh, the problem. Uh, in this particular scenario, what we're going to do is uh, we we'll ignore those uh, negative messages and we're going to look at the uh, just the positive messages. And um, in fact, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, send those messages out as tweets. Um, so uh, uh, if we have a Twitter output node. There we go. Twitter output node. We'll wire it up to the positive uh, messages, and we'll just add some new uh, credentials in there. Just deploy that, and then what we should see is uh, that. Uh, uh, every one of these uh, comments, which uh, is, is positive, is being tweeted on the IBM Demo One account. If we log into Twitter as uh, IBM Demo One, and what we should see is um, uh, here we go. The tweets are coming out uh, uh, from the uh, from the demo account. So it's a fairly uh, simple and, and trivial example. Uh, but what it demonstrates is, uh, you know, integration of a system of engagement application that we've built in, in literally just a couple of minutes, um, in uh, in in Bluemix with an on-premise uh, MQ enterprise application.